What's up, everybody? Uh, I want to talk to you today about how do the inmates feel in South Carolina state prisons about what Alec Murdoch did to get there? And is anything going to happen to him because of that? And of course, I mentioned this in my previous videos, but I'm a small channel and a lot of people are still finding me. So I uh, just want to note again that I have served a 10-year sentence in these same South Carolina state prisons uh, that Alec Murdoch is going to be spending his life sentences in. So uh, I do have a good bit of experience with how things work there. Uh, I've even interviewed several inmates who are still in these South Carolina prisons about Alec Murdoch and that situation. Uh, if you'd like to hear it from them directly, kind of what the demeanor and, and what their mindset is regarding that, uh, check out some of the other videos that I have, okay? There's really two main things. The first question is, are the inmates there going to be angry about and want to physically harm Alex Murdoch for the actual crimes he's been convicted of? And number two, regarding the inmates who may have been put there uh, directly by Alex Murdoch as a solicitor, uh, are they going to want to get some type of payback or some type of revenge if they come across Alex Murdoch? Will they ever even be able to come across Alex Murdoch uh, because there is that liability there? So for number one, uh, the first reason, do they care about what he actually did? Do they care about these murders? In my experience, in my opinion, and from what I've gathered talking to some of these inmates who are in those prisons, no. They don't really care about what he did. That doesn't fill them with, with rage, uh, you know, to want to enact some justice on behalf of, of the victims. I mean, it's like he who is without sin cast the first stone. I mean, a lot of these guys have done something just as bad uh, or, or worse or just a little bit, maybe not as bad, depending on who you ask. Okay, the only unforgivable, you know, the only thing that everyone in there will pass judgment on is if you have any charges related to child molestation. Okay, that, that's the ultimate crime in there. But other than that, I mean, especially where he's going, uh, because he has two life sentences, he's going to be at a maximum security facility, and most of the guys there, they have similar sentences, and a lot of those are going to be because of murder. I was participating in an interview uh, with Duty Ron on his YouTube channel live stream a few nights ago and was asked if they would care, you know, uh, you know, uh, about what he did. And I gave the answer I'm giving now. And uh, he said, you know, even though he murdered his child. And I said, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I get it. You know, and of course, there's always an exception who, who may feel so strongly about that, that they may want to do something, uh, you know, one standalone guy. And I'll, I'll cover that likelihood in a minute. But yeah, um, you know, we everyone in there, I remember during my last year in prison when it was this this case was first on the news. I watched it and I know that all the inmates in there, they, they have TVs. They can still see the 48 hour specials, the Dateline specials. They're, they're watching this. They've they've seen the coverage of this case. And the way that Paul Murdoch was presented didn't exactly seem innocent. Now, of course, what happened to him and, and Maggie Murdoch, that's, it's awful. It's awful to happen to anybody. But, um, you know, it's not someone who just is going to garner a lot of sympathy with these inmates. Not enough to outweigh the number one thing that is always on an inmate's mind back there. Uh, how can I make my life better? How can you improve my life? How can this inmate be beneficial to me? How can I prosper off of this inmate? And I think people are really sizing. That's, that's what they're thinking about with Alex Murdoch. Sizing him up uh, to see how can I benefit? How can he help me? How can he make my life better? Uh, they're not just waiting to, to do something to him because of what happened to Paul and Maggie Murdoch. As for question number two, um, inmates who have been put there in that prison directly uh, by Alex Murdoch as a solicitor, will they even be able to get around him? Uh, will they will they not just be kept separate the whole time? Well, I, I, I think it depends on uh, how easy that's going to be. You know, how many people are still back there who he's put back there? It, is it a lot? Is it so many spread out across so many yards that it's just impossible to find a place for Alex Murdoch to go that someone who he's put back there is not also on that yard? Um, is it only just a few? And it, are they, you know, three of them on this yard and one on this yard? Okay, we'll just keep them away from all those, you know, things like that. But also, 
uh, and I've seen this, um, you know, not with a solicitor and an, and an inmate who he put there, but more like co-defendants to a, to the same crime. And maybe one of those co-defendants snitched on the other. And, you know, maybe that one got 10 years and the other one got 20, but nevertheless, they're still both back there in prison. Um, they do try really hard to keep those guys separate. Uh, I, I do know that, but mistakes happen, especially if we're talking, you know, five, six, seven, eight years down the line, uh, you know, a mistake can be made as, as far as where you place them. Um, also, you have to think there may be a cousin, a, a brother, a, a best friend, uh, an uncle who's also back there of, of someone who Murdoch put back there. And they're not going to be, you know, in the system specifically named as this is someone who you need to keep away from Murdoch because he was put there by him. So little things like that can always happen. Prison is a small, small world. OK, um, you will you'll always run into somebody who, who's connected to somebody in some way. OK, so so is it likely that that could happen? Um, yeah, it, it's possible. How likely is it that if they do come across each other, that one of these inmates is going to want to get some revenge, some payback and, and do something, uh, cause some physical harm to Alex Murdoch for putting him there? Well, yeah, I'm sure deep down they'll 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 want to do something to him. Will they be able to? I don't think so. Uh, it, it's got to be very hard, and here's why. Prison is not a anything-goes type of place. Uh, it's actually pretty sophisticated. There is a hierarchy among the inmates. Uh, there's a pecking order, okay? And, and, I mean, usually whoever's at the top of this pecking order probably doesn't so much care about let's beat this guy up for what he did. Um Again, he, he's going to be thinking, how can we benefit? He's going to have a lot of things going on. And something like someone getting beat up real bad, unless it's just absolutely necessary, it's going to disrupt what he has going on. Uh, this guy's making moves every day. These, these guys, are they're, they're doing stuff every day. They have a big plan. Uh, they're trying to make money, things like that. Something like this that's unnecessary uh, just isn't absolutely needed. It's, it's going to mess up their routine, and it could mess up something big they have going on. If there's anyone who isn't at the top of this pecking order who would probably be a, you know, would want to do something to Alex Murdoch for that reason and might get the green light uh, permission from the, the this, these higher ups on the on the uh, totem pole to do it, it would probably be a lower level gang member. Um, and, you know, he couldn't just decide he wants to do it and go do it because he's a low level gang member. Uh, he he would go to the higher ranks in that cell block, in that dorm, and he would let them know, hey, listen, man, you know, Malik's Murdoch just came in. That was the solicitor who put me back here. Man, I want to get him. I want him. Please, you guys, like, I, I really want to go get him, okay? Because uh, gang members, they have this rule. Uh, you're not supposed to just go off and act on your own. Um, you know, you can do things on your own, but not without letting everyone know. It's not that, you know, they have to bring the whole gang with them and, and get them together. Uh, most of these gangs, at least in the state prisons I've been to, uh, if you have some beef, if you have something you want to handle, you need to do it yourself. Don't go get all of us involved. Um, you need to be a man and handle it yourself, but you need to let us know that you're planning to do it or you need to let us know what's going on so that we can be aware in case this causes something bigger to happen. Um, don't just leave us in the dark so that we can kind of be prepared. Maybe there's, you know, if there's a risk of police coming in, you know, the officers rushing in because you did this, we need to make sure we put our contraband up and just little reasons like that. Um, so he's going to, if nothing else, he's going to have to run it by the higher ups and uh, the higher ups may, if there's nothing else going on, if they see no reason at all, why something he, they shouldn't allow this man to do what he wants to Alex Murdoch, then yeah, they, they could, they might give him permission. I just think it'd be a rare occurrence. It'd have to be the perfect storm because uh, usually there's just going to be too many reasons, too many prison politics going on in that cell block at any given time on any given day to let something like that happen and, and throw a wrench in all the plans. Okay, so I, I, I don't think it's very likely to happen if one of these guys does come across them and if they do decide it's worth it. Also, the, personally, I don't, I don't get the whole thing of why... Why would you want, I, I mean, I guess I get it. Why Why would you want payback on Alex Murdaugh if he was the solicitor on, uh, for your case that you got convicted and, and put back there for? 
I get it. I mean, if you want, let me get whoever I can, and it just so happens I can get the solicitor. I mean, would you also get the police officer he, if he was back there who caught you and arrested you? Would you get the detective who gathered the evidence? Would you get the prosecutor? Would you get the judge who made the conviction? I mean, maybe you would, but I don't... It, it's not as if Alex Murdoch was never born and then everything else in life went the same way. You committed the crime. You got caught. Police got the evidence. They arrested you. They put you in jail. And they handed over the files to the solicitor and prosecutor. And you got sentenced. I don't, I mean, nothing, if Alex Murdoch was not your solicitor, it wouldn't have changed anything. It's not like he's the one who just made it his life's mission. I'm going to track, you know, I'm going to hunt this guy down and I'm not going to stop until I find a way to arrest him. So I just don't get it, but I guess I can get it if you're just, let me get anybody I can who had anything to do with this. I guess I get it, but that's just my opinion. But you can never say never. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Now, if it makes anyone out there feel better, I'm not saying there's no way um, for different reasons than these two uh, that something could happen to Alex Murdoch. And honestly, I think the most likely reason that something could happen to Alex Murdoch, it's going to be more because of his attitude, uh, maybe his mouth, um, if he hasn't learned to humble himself, um, how to conduct himself with these inmates, and just learn to socialize in this very different world he's now in, in a way that doesn't make the other inmates want to do something to you and just really rub them the wrong way. Uh, so if he doesn't learn how to do that pretty quick, uh, somebody's going to teach him how. So that's my two cents on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, has any of this changed your opinion or changed your prediction? Or no, not at all. Hope you enjoyed the video either way. And I'll be back soon with more updates as I get them.